Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something about a game called Everywhere that is being developed and led by an ex-Rockstar executive. Now, Leslie Benzies is one of the OGs at Rockstar Games. He is actually one of the original creators of the GTA series, and he left Rockstar a number of years ago to start his own video game production company, and they're currently working on a fairly secretive game called Everywhere that a lot of people are speculating is going to be the new GTA series. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing exactly what we know about this game so far and everything that has been revealed both officially and through some leaks. So we got a ton of really awesome, exciting, and interesting information to discuss today, and we're going to be jumping into that in just a quick minute here. But first off, if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more DIY videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right fast, we're into the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome mobile app known as the Thunder Volume Booster. As the name suggests, the Thunder Volume Booster is a really awesome mobile app that allows you to amplify your speaker's volume on your phone up to 200% louder than your phone originally allows. This is super useful if you're using your phone in a crowded area or just want to make your speakers louder for whatever reason, and on top of that, it does also feature a number of effects such as a bass booster and others to make your phone speakers sound even more premium. Click the first link in the description down below to download Thunder Volume Booster for free for your mobile device. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So all the way back in 2016, Leslie Benzies, which is one of the original employees at Rockstar and pretty much the creator of the GTA series, left the company and then a number of years later it was announced that he was creating a new game studio slash development company known as Build a Rocket Boy Games. Now shortly thereafter, it was announced that they are creating a new open world game that is likely similar to the GTA series known as Everywhere. Now as we all know, Rockstar Games is very unique in the game development scene because they take an approach of not really marketing their games until they are fully announced. So no types of major teasers or anything like that, and they are also very secretive in regards to unannounced content. Now this is very similar with the way that Build a Rocket Boy Games is marketing themselves right now. They are still very secretive, however there was a number of interviews given with a number of media publications by Leslie Benzies himself that give us a better look at what they're working on at the company and also what the game everywhere is going to look like and if it is going to compare to the GTA series. So let's go ahead and go over a number of those details right now. So first and foremost, one of the major details that has been first confirmed about this game is that it is going to be an open world title. One of the things that Leslie Benzies is obsessed about and he loves doing is creating open world games like the GTA series and also Red Dead Redemption 2, so Everywhere is going to be an open world game. Now one of the interesting quotes during an interview that he did with Polygon is how they're going to be merging online and single player inside this open world game. He says, quote, I see a future where we don't reference single player or multiplayer. We just choose when we want to play and if we want to hang out with others or if we want to be alone. Now this is actually a technology that Ubisoft has experimented with before. I remember playing Watch Dogs 2 and in that game there was no online mode and no single player mode. You just loaded into the game and then while you are playing your single player missions, there was some online elements such as seeing other players inside your session despite you not being explicitly in an online session. So this isn't any kind of groundbreaking technology that he's talking about here, however it is definitely a good point that we don't really need to differentiate these two modes, and I do believe that it is in fact the future. Now while the actual gameplay and the world of Everywhere are going to resemble the GTA series quite a bit, one of the biggest differences that Leslie Benzies made sure to note during that same Polygon interview is that while there are going to be satire elements inside the game, a lot of the time it is going to be a very different tone than what GTA is. 
Now GTA is pretty much the epitome of satire inside video games and it is one of the main reasons why people love playing it so much because it's able to point satire at virtually everything inside modern culture, however it seems like this game is going to be taking a little bit of a different approach. Now, one of the recent developments over the past couple of weeks that IGN reported on is that a person was able to find a number of images on the website for the Everywhere game that do contain a number of things that we have not seen before. The images that I will show on screen right now are technically inside the code of the website, however, they are not public. One of the images seems to contain some type of robotic artwork, and then another one seems to contain some kind of character that is just showing the eye and it looks to be some type of female character. So it's not really confirmed what this game is going to be and what exactly the storyline is going to be, however it has been confirmed that this is going to be a major open world series and it looks like it is definitely going to be at least somewhat of a contender to the GTA series. Now, in regards to release date, we are still very early in development. It has been announced last year that Build a Rocket Boy did raise an additional $40 million in funding to develop this game. And $40 million sounds like a lot, but it honestly isn't that much when you're developing such a massive open world game like Everywhere seems to be like. It's also worth noting that they did submit a number of pretty interesting trademark applications, which I'm going to show on screen right now. It isn't really confirmed what exactly these mean, however it seems like that they are talking about some type of in-game technology, and it looks like one of them has to do with in-game VR, where the character you're playing with puts on a VR headset and is transported into a different reality, and then they take it off, and then they're able to see the other real reality around them. So definitely a few weird patents that are definitely pretty interesting, but it is worth noting, as always with patents, that even though they're filed, it is very likely that they are not going to make it into any type of fruition at the end, however it is still something worth noting. Now as always, this is a developing story and the game is still in heavy early development, but I'm super excited to see what comes out of this. But let me know in those comments down below what you guys think about this so far, and also if you had to pick one game that is available right now that is the closest contender to the GTA series that is not a title of Rockstar, what would you say that game would be? Let me know what your thoughts are in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, let me know by dropping a like rating, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.